After 14 days of delay, NASA announced a further postponement in the Boeing Starliner's return to Earth from the International Space Station. Two NASA astronauts, the Indian origin Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, were supposed to spend nine days on Boeing's first manned space launch. With their return date, with their return due on the 14th of June, and now it is unclear when will the two leave the space station. The two, res the two astronauts have been reported to be in high spirits. NASA's commercial crew program manager, Steve Stitch, and as he said, and I'm going to quote here, they've been very positive about the whole thing. The love, they love Starliner. They love being in the vehicle. They love being on the ISS. Now, the return for the spacecraft, which was launched on the 5th of June, has been stalled multiple times over snags, including hardware malfunctions. The date of return was first shifted to the 26th of June over technical issues in the spacecraft. The announcement followed two days of intense meetings to review the readiness of the Boeing spacecraft. Now it has been pushed again to an unspecified time in July. This comes after the space station's two planned spacewalks on 24th of June and the, 20, and the 2nd of July. NASA has said they will reevaluate the situation once the space talks are completed. The Starliner has the capacity to stay locked, to stay docked at the International Space Station for up to 45 days. This is also the only window for engineers to run intense checks on spacecraft manufacturing thrusters on its service module. The module is responsible for providing most of the spacecraft's fuel and power. The cylindrical attachment will burn up while re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. As per NASA, five of the Starliner's 28 control thrusters failed as the spacecraft approached the ISS. Engineers managed to revive four of the failed thrusters, leading to an eventual docking of the spacecraft. It added that the failure could be linked to overheating while multiple checks NASA has approved the four resurrected thrusters while one remains out of operation the spacecraft has also reported helium leaks in its propulsion system a CBS report revealed that NASA and Boeing had prior knowledge of a small pre-launch leak which was reportedly deemed non-threatening